All right, guys, just wrapped up the pistol version of this test. Sent them in these Knox Ballistic Gel Blocks here. If you missed that, go and check that out. I would recommend checking that out first, actually, and then coming back to this. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go see that, if you missed it. But today we're going to do the test through the rifle. Yes, these are marketed for use in pistol barrels. You can see there, they're marketed as defense rounds. Two and a half to four inch barrels is what they're made for. So, you know, out of a pistol. Um, but we like to have fun on this channel and we're going to put them through the rifle and see what they'll do out of the rifle at the increased velocities. Which, I don't have a chrono with me. Uh, mine's busted and I need to replace it. But I will tell you, these are going about 1300 some odd feet per second out of a rifle. As opposed to the 950 advertised from a pistol. So again... If you want to see the results from my TX-22 here, check out that video, link in the description, or you can just check out the 22 slash Rimfire playlist on the channel for everything Rimfire. I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to my buddy, Old Fat Dad Goober. Uh, you guys would not be watching this video right now if it wasn't for him. I have not been able to find this stuff anywhere. He thinks they may have pulled it off the shelves due to the controversy surrounding it and if you don't know about the controversy and you want to know more about that check out the pistol video because i went over all that in that video but i'm trying to make this one shorter but definitely go check out the old fat dad goober give him some love tell him i sent you over really really appreciate him sending this ammo for the test today also went over the gel blocks here like i said the controversy surrounding the round it's basically uh, some people are getting to, to perform and some are not and there's some speculation as to why but again for all those details check out the pistol version um, But I also went over the blocks and the calibration and all that in that video as well if you want to know about that But I'm gonna go ahead and get these set up get flipped around um, This is our mostly clear block here from the pistol chest test I just did so I just had a few little right here where I had to pluck them out So I'm gonna spin this around and this is the entry block we're gonna use for the rifle all right, I'm going to start out here just a bare block. And then I got a t-shirt down there and some denim to try out as well. So we'll put two through the bare block here first. All right, about what I expected. Ooh, <laughs> that was a little bit flatter than the uh, pistol test there. And we are losing some pedals up in here. And both, you can see there's pedals coming off. And there's what we're left with. On this one, you can see it still has some pedals. And at the top, not so much. And then that one up there, almost looks like they all sheared off. Of course, we'll pull them out, take a look. Penetration on those. Top one made it right at the edge of eight inches there, and this one's just a hair over seven and a half. All right, so oh, I thought the wind was gonna blow my camera over there. Well, it blew my target over. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to four layers of denim. If you want to know why I'm a proponent of that, who started it, and what it's for, and all that, Again, I went into much more detail in the pistol video. Check that out if you want to know. But we're just going to go ahead and try the four layers. And if it does not work through the four layers of denim, uh, then we'll dial it back some. Hey, I see at least one worked. I did something, so you can see our entry holes there. <laughs> cool I don't have to do the in-between crap so with that extra velocity I don't want to give too much away check out the pistol video um, but with the extra velocity there we have no problem getting expansion through the four layers of denim that's a pretty big massive wound cavity there too from up top so there's with my shadow yeah you can see it pretty good there's those so we got further penetration even though they expanded nicely and I think it's because 
they're heavier they held on to wow focus uh, pretty much all the pedals are still there so hitting that denim first four whole layers um it it i guess reduced the impact reduced the expansion enough when it finally did hit the gel to where it maintained most or more of its pedals there compared to these so that extra weight is why we got the extra uh, penetration there even though they still expanded about the same it looks like at least so this one's a hair over nine inches and then that one's just barely shy of 10 inches there and it depends on how i hold the camera here so that's what we got from the rifle all right i hope you guys can hear me over the gunfire i am at a public range get these pulled out take a look at them and then i'll get uh expanded diameter and retained weight for you guys all right real quick before we take them up to the table measure them weigh them there's through the bear block pretty mangled as you can see which is to be expected because that extra velocity of the rifle that's not what they're designed for but they perform pretty dang well and there's through the four layers of denim Okay, through the bare block, 20.2 on that one that had that piece hanging off. Then the one that hit up top that was sideways that had most of it sheared off, 21.6. Expanded diameter on that one, 0 0.306, so 30 cal. On this one, if you go sideways there, 0.29 but if you include that it's going to be a lot bigger obviously if I can even keep it straight yeah about 40 cal right there with that shard hanging off and then through the four layers of denim 32.4 remember these are 32 grain bullets so there's probably some gel trapped under those pedals there when they curled back expanded diameter 0.331, 31, 33 caliber, excuse me. Here's the second one through the four layers of denim. 32.7, 0.5. Expanded diameter on that one. About 30 cal as well. So again, guys, for all the juicy details on the controversy with these rounds and the different channels that have tested them, Go check out that pistol test video where I went real in depth about all that and more in depth about four layers of denim and my gel calibration and all that. Also, again, huge thanks to the old fat dad Goober for sending this ammo for the test. Could not have done it without him. I have not been able to find this stuff anywhere. And like he said, he thinks there's a good chance that they pulled this stuff from the shelves because of the controversy. So check out the pistol video. You'll get filled in about all that if you don't know check out the old fat dad goober's channel i would really appreciate that so would he he also has his own tests with this i think he did pistol test and rifle as well just as i have so go check him out show him some love tell him i sent you again i'll have that pistol video linked in the description of this video or you can just go check out the 22 slash rimfire playlist for that and anything rimfire if you guys want to get yourself any products you see me using in any of my videos like my freaking target stand there that i can't stick in the frozen mud paper targets i use steel targets Safety glasses, shooting muffs, little scale I had up there, micrometer, and even the Nox gelatin I use. Links for all that in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And I hope to catch you on the next one.